Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome you all to the crash course of chemistry. Today we have the test for chapter four. I will display the questions on the screen and you will write the answer and after a minute you will see the answer also and you will check it on your own. All right. Hostelers DPSM. Okay, so I'm sharing the screen here. Just a minute. Okay, can you see the screen? Now, this is the question in front of you. You write the answer. The question is, give the names of the following functional groups. Like the first one is OH. So what is the functional group OH? Second is COOH. So please write the answer. After a minute, we will see the answers. Okay, so you can see the answer here. OH is alcohol group. Second is carboxylic acid. Third is halogen means chloro. Fourth is again alcohol. Fifth is carboxylic acid. Sixth is aldehyde. Seventh is ketone. And eighth is carboxylic acid again. I hope your answer was uh, right. If it was wrong, you can uh, ask your doubt where you went wrong. Or you can write in chat box. Okay, now this is the second question. Shall we see the answer? See, uh, to distinguish between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon, you have the bromine water test. The color changes with unsaturated, but saturated do not. It gives carbon dioxide and water. And the two forms of energy produced are heat and light energy. Right? So this is the answer of the second question, the two forms of energy. Then why the reaction between methane and chlorine considered a substitution reaction? This is methane over here. It is reacting with chlorine. So what happens is from CH4, one chlorine has gone, sorry, one hydrogen has gone and chlorine is attached. So it becomes CH3Cl. Because one hydrogen got substituted with chlorine, it is called 
substitution reaction. Right? This is the next question, write the answer. Done with the answer. So why are covalent compounds called poor conductors of electricity? Because they do not have ions in them. They are formed by sharing of electrons. So there are no ions. So poor conductors of electricity. This compound you have to name. This is propanone. You can see the functional group is ketone. And there are three carbon atoms into it. So the name is propanone. Name the gas evolved when ethanoic acid is added to sodium carbonate. We discussed in the last class, carbon dioxide gas is produced because it is carbonate in the reactant side. Then how would you prove the presence of this gas? It can be tested with the help of lime water. You add carbon dioxide to lime water, it becomes milky white because of calcium carbonate production. So this is how you test it. Next question. No, beta, it is saying it must have two carbon atoms. So two carbon atoms is ethanol. And ethanol. Methanol will come when you have one carbon atom. If it is one carbon atom and alcohol, then it is methanol. But if it is two carbon atom and alcohol and rest other places hydrogen then it is ethanol. If it is three, then propanol. See, this is ethanol. If three, propanol, four, butanol, that way. So see, in the question, they are asking you two carbon atoms, right? I hope the doubt is clear. So uh, state its two physical properties. Physical properties are, it has a specific smell, a pleasant smell. It is soluble in water. With the help of a balanced chemical equation, indicate what happens when it is heated with excess of H2SO4. Remember, it acts as a dehydrating agent and water is removed. This water is removed. So you have two carbon and four hydrogen. So C2H4, ethene is formed. And the role of sulfuric acid is dehydrating agent. Now, next question. Very good. It is ester. Very nice. And if they ask you which ester, it is ethylethanoate. So this is ester. But if they ask which ester, as a how to remember that? Remember, I am recalling, making you recall again. This first name ethyl comes from the alcohol. 
and second name ethanoate comes from the acetic acid okay but if they don't ask you the specific name you can write ester it is correct good going next Okay, shall we see the answer? See, uh, hydrogen gas is produced. Like this hydrogen is replaced by sodium. So I hope you remember the name. Can you name this one? Okay, let me correct you over here. In the previous reaction, uh, in the chat box, you have written it is sodium ethanoate. Uh, it is not sodium ethanoate. It is sodium ethoxide. This is sodium ethoxide. Now, I'll write the formula for sodium ethanoate also. See, it is CH3COO. N A. This is sodium ethanoate. Okay, ethanoate. So whenever you get ethanoate name, it is on the basis of ethanoic acid. Okay, it was uh, I saw in the chat box, so I thought let me clarify this. Now this. Yes, it is alcohol carboxylic acid. So functional group is an atom or group of atoms which determine the chemical property of a compound. And the difference between soap and synthetic detergent. Soap do not work well in hard water, but detergents work equally well. Okay. Then. So what is the answer here? The vessels get black uh, sometimes when the food is cooked on the gas burner. What could be wrong here? Why the vessel is becoming black? Give it a try. Remember that example of candle and spoon on, on the flame of candle? It was becoming black. Same answer here. Try answering. It is which kind of combustion when the blackening of vessel is taking place? There are two types of combustion, remember? Complete and incomplete. So here, which kind of combustion will come? Incomplete combustion. And suit formation. Yes. So it is because of unburnt carbon particles because 
the holes of the gas burner can be blocked here it can be blocked so oxygen is not available in the required amount so you need to open the holes by cleaning it and oxygen is available and complete combustion can take place complete combustion can take place it is becoming black because of soot okay chalo next question Okay, so what is the answer? Good, it is vinegar. Very good. How does ethanoic acid react with sodium carbonate? Can you tell me what is produced? You can write in the chat box. Remember, again and again, I am saying if it is carbonate, carbonate, there is this gas. Which one? If carbonate is reacting with ethanoic acid, the gas produced is which one? Try answering it. It is similar sounding from carbonate, which gas is produced? Try to answer, beta. Bolo, carbonate. Carbon dioxide. Right? कार्बोनेट है तो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नो नो डियर इट इज कार्बोनेट देखो याद रखना है कार्बोनेट है तो इट विल बी कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सी दिस इज सोडियम कार्बोनेट एन ए टू सी ओ थ्री इज सोडियम कार्बोनेट एंड इथेनोइक एसिड is c h 3 c o o h so when they react from this carbon dioxide gas will be produced please remember this whenever you have carbonate carbon dioxide gas will be produced i hope you will remember now plus water and salt hai na water and salt dekho no problem you will remember with practice we still have time in board exam so practice as much as you can you will remember gradually chalo we are going to the next question now you have to draw the structures of just a second draw the structure of chloroethane see chloroethane ethane means how many carbon atoms tell me ethane means how many carbon atoms hmm? one carbon atom or two ethane would you like to answer ethane is how many carbon atoms one or two please recall good it is 2 so let me write uh this two carbon uh, this is my marker yes the two carbon atoms right and it is saying chloro means chlorine and at rest of the places you will write hydrogen 
बस यू आर डन विद द स्ट्रक्चर इट इज सिंपल क्लोरो इथेन इथेन इज टू कार्बन एटम्स बिकॉज क्लोरो इज रिटन यू विल राइट क्लोरिन एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द प्लेसेज यू विल राइट हाइड्रोजन ओके नाउ ब्यूटेन ऑन दिस ब्यूटेन ऑन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ ब्यूटेन मीन्स हाउ मेनी कार्बन एटम्स ब्यूटेन मीन्स हाउ मेनी कार्बन एटम्स प्लीज टेल मी we start with one carbon atom is methane two is ethane then what do we tell for three similarly try to recall butane butane is not two yes it is four good it is four so let us make 1 2 3 4 and on means which functional group this functional group ketone ketone means c double bond o so let us put c double bond o on any carbon any carbon you can put but yes you have to remember first or last pair you cannot put ketone functional group you cannot put on first and last you can put here you can put here so we have put here theek hai so now let us fill hydrogen here hydrogen 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 in second carbon already double bond o so no hydrogen will come hydrogen 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 and hydrogen all right good going very nice now hexenal let me erase so that i get space to write hexenal tell me how many carbon atoms good hexenal six very nice so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and al means which functional group Al means this aldehyde. This functional group. Aldehyde you can put on the last carbon. So let me put it on the last carbon. Bus now put hydrogen everywhere. See, done. All right. Okay. Good going, children. Very nice. Shall we go to the next one? The next question there in front of you. okay so what is the answer you have to write the names and molecular formula of two organic compounds which have functional group oic acid so any two you can give with one carbon oic acid oic acid is this c o o h means if i write it like this this is the structure 
but if simply you write it like this it becomes this one so there is one carbon for one carbon we have meth methe oh just a minute methanoic acid meth oh, let me erase methe noic acid and for two carbon atoms see this is two carbon atoms we will have c o o h and here c h 3 so this name is ethanoic acid ethanoic acid right so they are asking you two names uh, let me stop sharing i am sharing again because that black box was coming in between okay so two compounds are done with the help of balanced chemical equation explain what happens when one of them any one you take let us take ch3 cooh reacts with naoh will you guess what is produced good carboxylic acid i got the answer in the chat box for the previous one very good but now i am asking for this one what is produced the hint is this is carboxylic acid means acid and this is a base now try to answer acid and base are reacting try to answer good salt and water will you be able to guess the salt will you be able to guess the salt or simply you can tell me the formula see you know we have to form water dekho i'll give you the hint you take this this is h2o Uh, whatever is left you just join them c ch3 c o o n a plus h2 o done it was very simple very good no beech mein ek h is extra otherwise your formula is correct good going i am happy i am happy that you are trying children very nice great now the next one what is homologous series list its two characteristics which of the two organic compounds belong to the same homologous series take your time think and answer Oh, I have got the answer. Two, three, four. Let us check the answer. Two will not be dear because it doesn't contain oxygen. See, it doesn't have oxygen. Right. And this has one oxygen. See, this has one oxygen. this has one oxygen so they both belong to the same homologous series this and this 
एंड देर इज नथिंग सी एच थ्री ऐसा कोई कंपाउंड ही नहीं है सी देर इज नो सी एच थ्री सो दिस इज एलिमिनेटेड सो फाइनली दिस इज द आंसर गुड गोइंग सी आर आंसर मे बी रॉन्ग नो प्रॉब्लम बट देन वी वेन वी गेट द करेक्ट आंसर वी गेट टू नो वट मिस्टेक वी हैव डन and then after that we improve okay next question the functional group which can be hydrogenated it's a long answer take your time okay so shall we see the answer give me which functional group can undergo hydrogenation means which one can be added hydrogen to in which one we can add hydrogen try to recall Oh, you want any hint? The hydrocarbons are three types of hydrocarbons are there: alkene, alkene, alkyne. Take the hint from this. Alkene, alkene, alkyne are there. In which one we can add hydrogen? we have done this try to recall see your notes you must have noted down when i was teaching this topic alkene alkene alkyne kis mein teenon mein se kis mein we can add hydrogen yes no one is there any space to add hydrogen in alkene draw any one alkene that you know or dekho do can you add hydrogen into it then draw alkene koi bhi alkene draw karo and then find out can we add hydrogen in alkene similarly draw any one alkyne alkyne is a triple bond compound alkene is double bond alkene is single bond 
Tell me, I am giving many hints to you. This is alkane because all single bonds. This is alkene, double bond. This is alkyne, triple bond. Now think and tell me in which one we can add hydrogen. Can we add hydrogen in alkane? Can we add in alkane? Yes or no? Try to answer it. In the first one, can we add hydrogen? Which jaga khali hai? First one. Is there any empty space where you can add hydrogen in alkane? The first one, yes or no? You can simply type. It is already full. So no chance. You cannot add hydrogen here. I got some answer. Let me see the chat box. No. Great. Good. Now what about the second one? Jaga to khali nahi dikhri, but can we create a space here? Yaad karo. This double bond. Um, it says two yes okay good in two we can add how we can add we can simply break one of the bond see what did I do Deco, it was a double bond here and I am drawing it again so what did I do I have broken one bond and I created two more places now I can add two hydrogen. So here, yes. What about the third one? Alkene. Is there any scope to add? Third may add kar sakte hai? Good. Good. Now I'm getting good, good, correct answers. Yes, we can add four hydrogen here. Right? So... The answer is name the functional group where I, uh, hydrogenation is possible. So it is either alkene or alkyne, right? So it says with the help of suitable example, explain the process of hydrogenation. So we can simply take this and add hydrogen here. See what I do? I am writing hydrogen and remember there was a catalyst to be taken. Try to recall which catalyst we take here. Try to recall. So far you are going, giving good answers. We need something here, here on the arrow so that the reaction can take place. It was platinum or palladium or nickel and what happens we get all hydrogen here we get all hydrogen here so this is the reaction see it was this simple with suitable example explain the process of hydrogenation you just have to explain this equation ke take a double bond compound add hydrogen in the presence of platinum, palladium or nickel, it will convert into single bond compound. Then name any one natural source of organic compound that are hydrogenated. Vegetable oil can be hydrogenated. Got it children? All right, so shall we end here today's test?
you can unmute and tell me or you can write in the chat box can we end the test here and also tell me tomorrow